Okay, here is a quick, simple video for figuring out the unexplained, right, uh, prediction intervals, uh, explained variation, all this stuff kind of all rolled up in one. It's pretty simple if you use the stat crunch, which, co which comes with our Pearson site. If you click on these little rectangles on the side, you'll see that it gives you options to copy your data either to the clipboard and then you could paste it into Word or Excel or whatever. You can make a comma delimited, delimited uh, file which then you can open in Excel and it would have your data um, vertically. So it would make it more easy for you to run statistics and different analyses on it. So that would be what you would probably want to use if you wanted to use Excel. But it's going to be easiest to just go into StatCrunch. might take a second to load. There's your data. So if you move these windows side to side and you'll see that here are the altitudes and temperatures. Okay, so go to statistics, regression, simple linear regression. You need to tell it which variable you want to use for x and y. So we're going to let altitude be x and temperature be y because that's what it told us um, in the problem. You click next. You can either have it run a hypothesis test or confidence intervals. For this question, it doesn't really matter. The next, this is what we want here. We want it to predict y for a given x. And up here, we want to predict it for 6,327 feet or the x value, right, because it's feet in thousands, is 6.327. Um, we want a 95% confidence level, so there's our 0.95. So if we just go ahead and calculate now, we get all the information we need all at once. So these two up here. All right, so part A, the explained variation. Well, variation, right, analysis of variance, is your sums of squares. So your sums of squares are in three pieces, model, error, and total. So total is your total variation. So when you're talking about the uh, variation, you have basically two pieces. You have explained variation and unexplained variation, and we know that those two add up to total variation. So you'll see these two numbers add to this. So this is your total variation. This is the variation due to the model. So that's the variation that is explained by the model. So that's your explained variation. This is variation due to error. That's the bit that is not explained by the model or the unexplained bit. So there's your explained variation, your unexplained variation, your total variation. So that would do uh, parts A, uh, parts B, and even if they had asked for the rest, there it is. Okay, your indicated prediction interval. Well, down here, here's our X value, 6.327. Here's our predicted Y. So at a height of 6,327 feet, we would predict the temperature to be 46.35 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is your confidence interval for your mean, and this is the prediction interval for nu. I guess they're using the word nu for this kind of y hat. So these would be your two numbers for your prediction interval. And you can see I just typed everything in over here. And that's it.